Welcome back to the Surge 2 full walkthrough, covering all DLC items and alternative boss kills. You can see we're back here at the Med Bay in the Cathedral of the Spark, and we're going to proceed on and take out Matriarch Celeste and end her breaching. Before I do that, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So I've simplified my drone wheel. These are uh, the ones that I use most, so I've just cleaned that up. If I need to use the other drone modules, I can still access them through inventory. I also went ahead and upgraded some weapons, so I'll show you how things are stacking up right now. Um, sorted by damage, uh, the Justice of the Iron Mouse is currently the highest damage weapon that I have, but you'll see that in the next upgrade tier, the Ungula Universalis actually takes the cake. So it's going to be about 12 DPS higher. Now, I'm not sure how the uh, Tetra kill would stack up against that, but it'd be interesting to see if anybody knows. So feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, the Killer Claw is still hanging in there fairly strong. It'll only be five DPS behind the Justice of the Iron Mouse uh, punching gloves with the next upgrade tier, and it's going to have a plus 60% energy gain. So the Killer Claw is still the way that I'm going to go um, until I get the MK10 upgrade materials. Then I'm going to start messing around with the uh, Ungula Universalis. Um, and actually, that does do more damage than the Killer Claw now, and it does have that spin attack, so it's pretty good. So if you wanted to use that, it's definitely a, a good weapon uh, to choose. But I'm having fun with the Killer Claw, so I'm going to continue on with that. And we will proceed through, clear out all of the um, cathedral that we haven't cleaned cleared out yet. And then we will face down Matriarch. And there are a couple of boss kills that it seems like people just haven't picked up on for some reason. So, we'll take them out too. Oh, come on, out of the... Out of the blue stuff, you... Oh, well, no sever. No big deal. So you remember uh, back in the episode where we did the Iron Mouse quest just before the uh, Kraken DLC, we had come over here, and this is the direction we had gone um, to get to the notification where Iron Mouse kills the guy. finally broke that arm. The right arm on these is a little bit tricky because it'll um, electrocute you if you hit it until you break it. Now you'll see these barriers here, the corrupted structures. Uh, we're not able to open those yet, so we're going to want to remember that wherever we see those, we're going to have to come back and get up a little bit later. Um, so we're going to drop down here, and you can come around this side. Uh, this is where Iron Mouse actually killed that guy, so I'll show you that really quick. There you go. And you can also uh, open up a door there, which opens up the shortcut. In fact, we'll go ahead and do that before we continue on in this area. So this opens up the shortcut uh, out to the front of the Cathedral of the Spark. You got a couple of guys here that you got to take out. And even though I've got a, uh, a revenge enemy, and these guys are going crazy. They are going down really quick with the Killer Claw. And I'm at full battery and full health. So you can see just how powerful this combination is, right? Still using the same implants as I was before. I haven't changed anything. After I get another 13 core power, then um, I'll look at switching it up. But okay, so that will open up the entrance. So you could come back in here. Um, there is a way also back up in here to get to the med bay. And we can open up this door. But because we've got the blue goo here, that toxic water stuff down there. Um, we can't actually use this the zip line, so we're going to want to remember to come back through here 
a little bit later because that'll take us down to little Johnny's head. We can put the poor guy out of his misery. So that's that shortcut. We'll come back out here. Um, I'm going to go out and get a little bit more loot. So we'll come out. Um, there's an enemy to the left here. Take him down. And I believe, actually, uh, let's see if I can get that. And I believe I have the full chrysalis armor set already, but I just want to check. Yeah, because these guys can drop uh, chrysalis gear as well. Um, and then there's one more spark set that we can get in here. So you can see this guy's right arm and left arm are chrysalis. Um, not a big deal. Go ahead and go for whichever limb you, you need parts for. I'm going to be upgrading a ton of weapons later, so I'm going to just stick with arms for now. Um, I'm pro not planning on upgrading any more armor sets. I'm happy with MG Cerberus. Uh, eventually, I will craft all 20 suits, though. Um, but for now, this is good. So we've cleared off those two areas. We've gotten all the loot, uh, and we're going to head inside this direction and take out this guy. Now, he has the um, Spark... Is it the Spark Aspirants? Did we already get the whole Spark Aspirants? Yeah, it looks like we did. You can see with the stagger on, on this as well, um, he didn't have a whole lot of chance to do anything. Oh man, and the head went into the water. Oh well. Wanted to make sure that I've got his set. I believe I do, but just double check. So it took a little bit of damage there, but not a whole lot. Yep, and so we've got the full set for that. I'm going to try and get this guy. Looks like we aggroed him already. It's fine. So you want to be kind of careful about the electricity effects for that guy. Um, you could rush over and take out both of them, but I'm going to try and separate them a little bit. And that way I'm in a slightly safer place to fight. Because that electricity effect can stun you, so um, just be a little bit careful. And once you break the arm, either the right or the left, then that'll give you, um, that'll stop stunning you then. So a charge attack works pretty well, uh, or you can go for the direction block. That'll open up this section. Yeah, now I've got access to a little bit more loot. Um, so pay attention over here, there is loot. So I'm going to leave a little message, let people know. Should have probably left it on the wall there. Um, and that'll drop you down so that you can take out this guy who roams up and down the steps. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Nobody can stand against the ferocity of the Killer Claw. <laughs> I really love this weapon. Uh, you can creep around behind so you don't get all of those guys yet. Um, and then we can go back up and there's some loot up top like that, that one up there. Um, back here, there's nothing back here. You can go back there, but there's nothing back there. Just some containers to destroy. These don't actually drop anything either. And there we go. We get the loot here, we get the loot in here. We can jump out this side, and so that's where we fought that guy and went down the steps. Um, this is where we uh, can go through.
back towards the med bay, and that's where we turned off the power. Remember that there is a door or a um, barrier here that we could open um, when we get the upgrade from. Uh, well, I won't spoil it for you. Now, I could go down the lift over there, or I can just drop down here. Um, and we're at this point, we can watch her sermon. So she's repeating herself now. Um, if you turn this off, they're going to start roaming around. I find it easier to actually leave those on. It is fun to mess with them, but, you know, I'd rather leave them on so I don't have to deal with all of those guys. Um, so you can jump out here, come across the pipes. Oh, you got to jump. Don't know why it's not letting me jump up there. Usually it does. And jump over here. And we've got that loop. And then there's another uh, mag lift over here. And so you can get back up to the top. Now we're going to go down and take out those guys. And I find it easier to take them out from the ground floor right over here. Um, and you can break this too, but there's no loop. So once you kill him, you're going to get some more roaming up. So just be aware. <laughs> that drone is fun. And it's a quick recharge too, so I can technically just uh, knock these guys all down. That's fun. I like that. So since these guys are all sort of, they get um, charged up from taking electricity damage, so I'm not actually going to use electricity damage against them, even though I could use Brother Truman Spear and the Spark Galvanizer set in here. Um, it actually makes it a little bit more difficult. So sticking with the non-elemental damage is probably the way to go in here. And because of that, instead of using Starfish, I'm testing out uh, the Parabotic drone that we got from the Kraken DLC. So if you're wondering what that drone is, you get it from the final boss of the Kraken DLC. So we've come back out here, um, and actually there's one other way we could have gone, so I'm going to do that before we go back to the main area here. This is a little bit confusing. Yeah, it's this one here. Okay, so we want to open up this shortcut. Alright, now that'll let us come up this magnetic lift which brings you back to the med bay and sort of circles you back 
into this area. So we've got this whole area cleared now. Um, and I'll show you where you come out from the other side if we would have gone through that other door. Oh, a little bit of loot there. No, that was just a glowy... Just the lighting. Just the lighting. Ignore my ramblings. So if you come out here, you can see you've got that zip line. That is proceeding on to the main cathedral itself. So you want to make sure you um, open up that exit line. Um, you've also got a little bit of loot down here. So a little bit of the blue stuff isn't going to be too bad. Uh, you've also got a chest over there that we need to get. And we need to set little Johnny free. And then that door over there with that uh, magnetic lift is where we had just come in before. So you've got full access to this whole area now. Um, and there's a couple of ways you can go. But we've got this reactor chamber still that we haven't done yet. So we're going to clear this out. And you want to be careful because there's a guy to the left there. Uh, I think I'll go with his right arm. Interestingly enough, this guy didn't jump us. Usually he does. <laughs> so you can even knock the big guys on the grass. That's pretty useful. Probe process nanite activated. The link is established, Brother Eli. Excellent. Patch me through. System corrupted. Hacking attack detected. This is your new lord and master speaking. Who is this? Identify yourself immediately. There's no need. You'll be my eyes and ears at CIT now. And you will remember this. I would never betray Master Gutenberg. Sending override codes to Harold Dill. Harold Dill. Defense rate remaining two. All right, so you remember in the uh, first trip to the Cathedral of the Spark when we were doing the Iron Mouse quest, we had cleared out that room and lowered the water there. So we've just come full circle and lowered all of this. Um, unfortunately, I think we're missing a weapon right now, which we need to get the code name Carmina, and we'll get that from a Spark fanatic in the Hall of Prayers. Uh, so that's back up to the med bay. Um, we can drop down here get this loot um, and then you can either go back down there and drop down further or you can just drop back down onto this level um, that level down there uh, gives us the shortcut out to open up the other side of the med bay we're not going to do that quite yet This takes us out to uh, this chest here. So we'll go ahead and take that exit line over to here, and then we'll run back around to the other side um, to get down to where we were at with little Johnny um, to set him free. This place is a little bit windy and confusing, so if you get lost, don't feel too bad. I get lost all the time here. And in fact, I think nah, I'm not going to be able to make that jump. come down here and we'll get this chest or this uh, audio log anyway quickly and then I'll run back up the other side your highness your son has perished again which one this time Eli of course I should have known such a loyal soldier always throwing himself into harm's way to further our holy cause start the ceremony at once Behavior is getting more and more erratic. I'm not sure if, um... Silence! 
indeed I shall walk the earth once more and bring our glorious land to fruition. We cannot succeed without him. His connection to the swarm is unique. The spark will strike. The world will change! So from the med bay, um, probably the quickest way to get down to the Johnny easiest to remember anyway is to go out here to the front down that zip line then we can go inside this section here and you can jump up through this door um, it is possible to drop down from above but it's a little bit tricky to get here so we're just going to go down this zip line here. And you can hear little Johnny protesting. So let's put him out of his misery. Alright, now that we took care of little Johnny once and for all. We're going to go back up. And I'm actually going to respawn the um, Hall of Prayer so that we can get the codename Carmina really quickly and then I will um, continue on to rescue Rex. Good old Rex. He's finding himself in a spot of trouble coming for April. Okay, so the Hall of Prayer, um, let's respawn it. We can upgrade while we're at it. So Hall of Prayer, probably the easiest way to get in there. Um, you can go couple of ways, but this is probably the shortest path to just come down that mag lift and then come in here. And then we've got to figure out which one of these guys has the Carmina. So it's not this one. But I am going to sever arms the entire way just to keep an eye out. It's not this guy. That's interesting. It stunned me. <laughs> it stunned me when I used uh, my drone to bash it. Not sure if that's intended behavior or not. Alright, we'll come out here and get the loot. It's not this guy. Is this guy. So this guy here is the one with the code name Carmina, right when you first enter into the area um, from the med bay. And apologies for missing that. Should have paid more attention. There you go. Code name Carmina. If we sort by damage, uh, you can see that code name Carmina is sort of it's a nano damage weapon, a bit behind nano, um, Ishmael's wrath. But it is, you know, it's a spear, hits fast, uh, so the 20% energy gain isn't too much of a problem. Nano damage will stack really quickly, so it's a reasonably good er, um, nano spear. And it's also codenamed, so if you wanted to use the nano spear with the Angel 6 set, then this would be a good way to go. I think it's your only option for nano spear. Right, so that is done. Um, go back out that way is probably the shortest path. We'll just have to deal with this guy. If you go for their heads rather than their 
different weapons, then um, you can avoid getting shocked. Back into the main area. Um, now the next thing that we're going to want to do is come over here and then we can go and rescue Rex. So you'll note I left a mark here to indicate that there is an exit so you need to jump over here, open the door. I'm not sure what he's indicating. But yeah, we could have actually come and dropped down here, like directly below us is Little Johnny Pool. So that's another way to get out there. Um, when you come out here, there's one rover, so you want to keep an eye out for him. Out here actually is where the sniper from the other side that we killed way back several episodes ago, uh, he would normally be standing out here, but because we took him out, there's not even a sniper turret, so you can just hang a left here and grab this loot. It's the Vital Speed Intensifier, which increases your uh, attack speed by 5% when your health is full. So this is actually a pretty good uh, weapon, or a pretty good implant to use for this build, but we're already quick enough anyway, so I don't think 5% is going to help that much. Again, I could turn this off and get them to roam around, and actually that's the better way to go here. But <clears throat> I'm just going to take them out. So those three taken out, uh, we can open the door up over here, but we're going to go downstairs before we go through that. Got a little bit of loot here. None of this has loot. There's more crates back here you can break, but I don't need there either, but there is loot down here. And this is kind of the safest way to get to this piece of loot. So you can creep out onto that pipe there. And that gives you the battery auto healer augment. But since we already had the battery auto healer from earlier in the game, it just
just gives us some crafting components. Now we'll come out here uh, through the door and you can see this tag it does it is letting you know that there's loot there but we just got it. And there is good old Rex. Hey, I remember you. You're the one who like found out what happened to April. What? Right now? I'm in a freaking cell. Yeah, ask me again if I ever get like out of here. I like came here to save my ex from the children of the spark. Turned out to be a great decision. Not. They'll like sacrifice me on an altar if I don't join them. Totally rude, dude. Come on. You gotta get me the key. I'll never find her trapped in this stinky ass cell. Oh, cool beans. You're a real amigo. What? You think I'm just like chilling out? I'm losing my mind here, man. I'm like claustrophobic or whatever. Well, she's not in the cell, about as much as I know, but she must be somewhere close by. I can, like, feel it. April always said I was really good at sensing things, kind of like a dog, you know? It's cool, right? Adios, dog! That opens up the uh, other side of the med bay, so you can come out here really quickly once we find April. Um, you can just come down right down there and free Rex. So the next thing that we need to do is to go all the way down to the bottom, uh, like we're going to proceed on to Celeste. Hold on a minute, I think I saw some loot that I didn't get up there, just checking. just another set of mine. Alright, so we're going to go down just like we are going to Celeste. But before we head out that way, grab that loot there. Uh, before we head out that way, there's also some loot around the corner. And I find it a little bit easier to come that way and jump. You don't want to fall down below there because you'll die. So just be a little bit careful. Um, you can also come, so this ramp here, um, you can just go out to the right, and then you don't have to risk falling down below if you jump. So you can just walk out there if you want. It takes you to the exit line here. Oh, and I'll show you really quickly. If you try and go directly into Celeste, you can't do it. So we'll go up here where you saw the procession heading into this area. You've got a couple of Omni cells you need to get. Um, and there is a boss tag here, but if you go down there, you're going to die. So we need to get that elevator from up there down here in order to get into where the spark is. So we're going to come over to the right, go up the exit line. Grab the loot to the left here. That's Reclamation Buddy EX. There's also a little bit of loot back there. Let's pick that up. Then we come up here. And you'll note this kind of platform here doesn't seem to be useful at all, but it is because we need to come back up one more level. And before we take that zip line, we're going to want to come down here and get this loop. But then we're stuck because we can't get back up there, right? So what do we do? Uh, we go and jump over to that platform that looked like it was kind of working. And then before we go up that way, so that is taking us to progression, and we got a little bit more to clear out there, um, we're going to come back here and free Rex. So we'll take this zip line down, um, and there is April. 
The chamber of worship is hollow ground. Did Matriarch Celeste not teach you to respect the will of the Almighty Spark? And you need to be polite here, so ask, who are you anyway? You can call me April, but my name bears no meaning. I am but a loyal soldier of the Spark, committed to guarding our cells. And then you say, are you April? Do you recognize this memento? Vex? Cactus? I always thought... I always hoped we'd moved on. He's more clingy than a swarm of nanites. Always has been. I always knew I'd be the death of him. Here. Take this key and free him. I'll be a pariah forevermore, but... I can't have his death on my conscience. So we'll go ahead and free Rex. Uh, but before we do that, there's a little bit of loot back here and a dude guarding it. So I'm going to take him out. And then there's also this lift here that we couldn't access before um, with the spark galvanizer that's standing above the electrical pool so you can use this to get back to the med bay pretty quickly from here if you want to infidel you dare interrupt my prayer uh sorry <laughs> we're gonna go free rex <laughs> Um, and actually, you know what? That might be the faster way. So we're just going to go through the med bay. Um, and then we'll go out the exit on the side that we opened up. I don't know why she got angry with us, though. That's so unusual. But yeah, this should be the shorter path because we can just take this exit line up. sure before you send Rex out you buy everything from him. Rad! You did it! Where'd you find the key? Wait, how do you know April? You got some explaining to do after we like make it out of here. Thanks for getting me out of this jam. You're like a real bro. Oh, I thought I was gonna die in here. Thanks. You like got me out of a real tight squeeze there. Yeah, sure thing. So buy everything you can. We already have those. This is a new drone module. Um, we still we have plenty of ammunition for the Molotov and the grenade launcher. So um, if you want to buy upgrades for the SSM Vanguard missile, you can get them from Rex now. Um, he's going to move with April over to uh, Camp Gateway Bravo. So if you want to find him again, that's where you'll find him. Um, this one increases the damage of your next drone attack by 200% whenever you do a finishing sequence. And the Reclamation Buddy at EX, I didn't show you that before, but it does give you a huge boost to tech scrap gain. Now we can proceed on with progression. Take that exit line down. Go back outside, and this time we're going to go up the exit line that we ignored last time. So we'll come up here. And you want to watch the corners here because there are a few places that you can go to get extra loot.
So before we go up, we'll go down. Oh, no, actually, we need to go up first. Yeah, that one ends pretty much. Down is progression. So up here is just this guy. You can see him getting kind of charged up. So we'll go for his head, take him out quick. Rig capacitor XL behind here, um, where we destroyed the crate, and that's all you can really get up here. But we already had rig capacitor XL from um, opening it up with the shortcut downtown, <clears throat> so there's nothing really, you know, not a big deal if you miss it. So we'll come down here. has been avenged. Didn't mean to knock you down there, but it'll work, I suppose. Um, and then we can go down there. Or we can go up. And we want to go up because there's still more loot that we can get. careful out here, if you jump into containers and stuff, you can um, jump off the edge and die. So there's two guys here. No point in messing around trying to go for uh, armor chops. Instead, you're going to come over here and you're going to want to break this, but you want to be careful the direction that you're doing it because um, there is whoops, there is a uh, drop off right behind it. So we'll break it from this direction and get the loot. guy still trying to get back up. We'll just leave him alone. Um, and then we'll take this one down and before we go left we're gonna go right. <laughs> I need to use that drone to knock one of these guys off the edge. This gives us access to Matriarch Celeste. So you don't have to fight her immediately if you go in there, but that will trigger Brother Eli's uh, resurrection. And sorry for the spoiler. Um, we're about to go do it anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, and the map in downtown Jericho and everything is going to change again. So there's actually three maps uh, before Ezra, post Ezra, and then post Cathedral. And so when we go down there, that's going to trigger that. If there's anything else in the, out in the world that you haven't done yet, then I recommend that you back out. You can drop off here, um, drop off this ledge, and that'll actually let you um, go back to the med bay so that you won't trigger that event. And I'm just checking to make sure we don't have any other loot. Okay, so for me, because I've done everything, um, 
my quest log is is really uh, you'll see him you'll see this guy again uh, at Gateway Bravo and that's about it um, the witness quest will continue on a bit later so I'm gonna go ahead and trigger it but then I'm gonna go create a save before I fight her soon the anointed one will return together with the harbingers Brother Eli shall walk this earth once more. Arise, my son. I have seen the light. Take the spark and bring forth the new dawn, Eli. So with Matriarch Celeste, getting the alternative boss kill is, this is probably the most difficult fight to get it in. And it's not because she's a super difficult fight, it's because uh, you basically have to land every hit almost perfectly in order to break the two mechanical arms. Um, and any sort of extra damage that you do can prevent you from getting the execution off um, at the end. So. You're going to want to create a backup save here. I'm going to go ahead and do that too, and then we will go down and fight Celeste. And it's time to take on Celeste, so we'll head down the zip line here, and then we'll fight her. She's got two phases. First phase, you just want to do damage any way you can. Um, target one of her arms is usually what I do. And then she'll switch to the second phase where she spawns two mechanical arms and when you target them they actually say mechanical arms so that's what you want to be targeting and you'll do r1 r2 r2 uh, until you do enough damage to get the execute on each arm and you have a very narrow window of damage so you can't mess up and do extra hits uh, to other body parts or anything like that um, if you can get the direction of locks in then go for it um, but really you just want to focus on those arms and do the mechanical arms that do no damage to her otherwise. Um, so, wish me luck. It's very easy to fail this fight. So now she's got the mechanical arms, and you want to get the target onto where it says mechanical arm. So it can be a little bit tricky to get it, but you want to make sure that you do, and you leave the target there until you sever it. If you lose target, go back to it. R1, R2, R2 works. get the directional blocks it makes it a little bit easier to get the severs You 
go. Alternative boss kill on Celeste. We've got the icon of the spark. Uh, and if we look at that, it's the V2.0. It's not all that great damage wise, but it is a double duty electricity damage weapon. So it will stack fairly quickly. Um, and it hits fast enough that it sort of makes up for the uh, low base damage. So that has effectively 366. So it falls a good bit below uh, these ones, um, but you've got the alternative boss kill. Now we've got to follow Eli to Jonah Gutenberg's lab. In order to do that, we're going to come up here. You want to be sure to grab the loot over here. Thank the guy who tagged it. Might as well use the med bay over here. Level up a little bit. All right. And so we're just going to keep following Brother Eli. As you go through here, you're going to want to keep an eye out for um, extra loot around the corners and whatnot and hidden shortcuts, shortcuts and paths. These guys aren't too difficult. Hopefully between me and the tags, we'll be able to get you all the loot. So you could go up that way, but if you do, you get nano damage. So instead, we'll follow that advice. Come over here, and that'll give us... Uh, we'll be able to ambush this guy effectively. And as you come up here, note the tag. There's a tag there, too. A little bit difficult to see, but you want to come out here and grab this. So this... If you didn't have it, would be the auto healing dynamo. So you can pick it up there if you missed it previously. Um, and then there's a little bit more loot up around the corner this side. That tag doesn't is a little bit difficult to see, so I'm going to drop another one here. There we go. That'll bring us back out into the CIT basements. Now you can go over there and kill uh, Delver Echo Beta, which I think doesn't even show up in the Surge 2 wiki. Um, so we'll get that guy later though. We don't need to do him now. And I think if you kill him now, it actually may interfere with uh, the Warren, um, the Stranger Quest, the Witness. And we want to make sure that we do get that quest. So we'll come back and deal with Del Greco, uh beta later on. Because we have to come back in here anyway after we get all the stuff from Jonah Gutenberg. Um, so no rush. Now we can go into the lab down there, but I just want to show you quick. There is a nanite barrier, a uh, corrupted structure, um, which we cannot break yet. We're 
we're going to be able to break them soon so we can come back through and clear out this area later but for now we're going to want to just go down here into CIT When you come out this way, uh, you're going to want to drop down here, and you'll notice the med bay in front of you from the original Surge game. Um, so that's where you always used to rest and go back and craft gear and everything. Um, much bigger med bay than you're used to in this game, uh, and we'll get to hear some nostalgia music too. But first, we're going to want to come over here and take out the bloody Proteus uh, enemies for their weapons and their armor. So that gives us the code name, the Bloodied Proteus Arm Module, as well as the code name Valkyrie. So I'll show you both of those. Code name Valkyrie, twin, twin rigged weapon. Um, and it is fairly high uh, base DPS, and it's a code name weapon too, so it's good to use with the. Um, Angel 6 set. And if you look at the Proteus, uh, bloodied Proteus arm module, it gives you increased health restored from injectables. And if your health is low, you also regenerate health. So it's not a bad set, all in all. Um, we're also going to get another set over there. You can see the loot off in the distance. This is the Eagle set. And we're going to go for the body on this guy. Body's kind of rare to get. And I will show you the eagle set piece here in just a minute. So the eagle set was actually my favorite set in the um, original Surge other than the MG Cerberus, or the Black Cerberus set, I should say. In this game, it's not nearly as good, though. Uh, eagle set. There we go. So there's the eagle leg gear. Um, so when health falls below 25%, you'll automatically heal yourself back up, and it prevents the decay of one battery. It's not a horrible set. Makes it a little bit harder for you to die, but just doesn't seem worth it to me. So we're going to go over here, grab a little bit more of the eagle set. I don't think it's in this corner, but... There, there's the arm gear. And we should have actually had one of them drop. There we go. Uh, we'll get the head off of this guy. So that is three pieces, and we'll just need the leg after this. And these guys do get back up, so remember to kill them twice. Just like in the first game. These enemies were a menace in the first game. You also go in here uh, to find the eagle headgear. So we've got the eagle arm, eagle head, eagle leg. We just need one more piece, which we will get in the med bay. Is the eagle body. And if you remember from the original Surge, uh, there is a theme song for the medbay that you would hear every time you would die and come back to the medbay, which happened a lot. can turn off the music if you want, but why would you ever do that?
All right, let's see if we can get the last piece that we need. I believe it's a leg. There's the leg. And we've got the full set. Proteus set all finished and when we get into the next area we're going to have another um, quasi boss fight encounter we'll have a multiple normal Proteus enemies to fight and so when we do that what we're going to want to do is um, try and take out one that has the Parsifal uh, codename Parsifal weapon and an armor set piece on the arm so we'll take out one of those and then we'll try and separate the other three um, and get one uh, piece of armor from each of them. And you can see Jonah is on the ground with Brother Eli's spear. Um, so the last man who could stop the Nanite Plague is dead. Doesn't bode well for the future. He killed him. Master Gutenberg is dead. Systems corrupted. Systems corrupted. I was hacked by the children of the spark. I became their unwitting pawn. Avenge us, friend. Alright, so we found one that has an arm, so I'm going to focus my attacks on him for now. Separating them can be a little bit of a challenge. There we go. Alright. So that'll give us the uh, codename Parsifal and the arm. And we need to get a head, a body, and a leg. So he's got head, body, leg. He's got head, body, leg. He's got head, body, leg. So take your pick. I think I'll go for one that has the armor already broken on the leg. There we go. They will heal up over time too, so um, try not to kill them unintentionally. Go for the severs. Keep an eye on their health. So that one, um, obviously we want to let him get his health back up. So I'm going to go for this one for the body. Uh, that other one is in kind of bad shape. Going to let him heal up quite a bit more. Oh no, he's going to get... Try not to let him get hit by the nanite stuff, too. There's the body. And I believe all we need is the head now, right? So we've got the other three pieces. Proteus arm, body, leg. So we just need a head. He's full health, so we'll go ahead and go for that. And I missed the sever. Hopefully I got that. I think you'll find you will. With your little experiment and the power of the spark, I'll find the holy nanites to me forever. Finally, I shall take my rightful place and become one with the divine harvesters. Athena is stronger than you.
sad end of Jonah. Um, so we did miss the bloodied Proteus uh, head. Not a big deal. We'll have other opportunities to finish off the set. Um, or the Proteus head, I should say. Where did it go? Uh, Proteus body, leg, and arm. So we missed the head, unfortunately. Uh, but don't sweat it too much. You'll get it. In terms of the, um, the weapon, so we just got the Parsifal... Codename Parsifal Weapon. You can see for that tier it is currently the highest damage weapon, so good to pick that up. Hello, my dear friend. I hope you find this message before it's too late. I'm running out of time. That zealot Eli is almost here. There's so much I want to tell Athena. So much I want to tell you. But I'm afraid my time is up. You two have a special connection. I'm sure of it now. I don't know how to say this, but I finally understand what's going on. Athena saved your life, but whatever came back is different. You are not who you used to be. Now that's what I call a good monologue. Eli, I've grown tired of your speeches, old man. You won't get away with this, Eli. He apparently did get away with it. So all hell's broken loose. But we're getting a power up. So we can now do charge nanite absorption. Um, so just do a charge up attack and you will break the mirror here. We're going to go up the lift here and we're get ready. we'll get ready for another boss fight. And as I alluded to uh, in the last episode, um, this one is going to be with a good old friend. I believe these are the bloodied Proteus uh, enemies, so don't worry about it. We already have the full suit. to charge up a little bit before we go out for another fight. And here we go. We're going to have to beat that. So clearly... When he does that, you're going to want to jump out. Clearly, Harold is having a bad day. Um, so you want to try and do R1, R2, R2 if you can. That'll do the most damage to the tail, and you're going to focus on doing damage to the tail. Um, that is effectively the alternate boss kill for this. Um, if you can, try and get the... Uh, try and get the... Uh, um, directional blocks in. That'll help you do a little bit more damage to the tail. Uh, when he rises up like that, you're going to back out. R1, R1, R2. Or R1, R2, R2, rather. Let me get the sever, man. Come on. Now, from this point on, doesn't really matter what you do. Um, I tend to, just for a challenge, try and get the um, right arm as well. See, though, he does hit pretty hard and fast. And he's doing nanite damage too, so be careful. We 
with the tactile amplifier. Lost control of my faculty. Escape CIT. And we got Harold's holographic tailblade. So Harold's holographic tailblade is very good single rigged weapon, high damage, uh, right alongside the Rusty Ravager, which is right up there just ahead of Chalky Dicky. So um, these are all really good DPS weapons. And the implant that we got, the tactile amplifier, um, you can slot that in 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 place of the energy dynamo, or you can stack it with the energy dynamo, which is what I might end up doing in the long run. Now we can get out of here, and we're just going to continue forward. Uh, there is a little bit of loot after we hear the message. So the update tells us to go to the Great Wall of Jericho with Athena. Uh, but first, we want to kind of come around here and get this loot from this chest back here. These guys don't die right away, so go ahead and take them out. No head on this one. And we'll take out this guy too. Whoops. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh well, I guess I'll fall down. Didn't mean to do that. And you get the scrap metal there. Um, we could go around the other side and open up a shortcut back to the underground, but I'm not going to do that yet. Instead, what we're going to want to do is we'll come out here. You'll note also, just a little tidbit here, uh, all of your plants will have grown. So that's kind of nice, except for that one in the corner, which bugs out for some reason. Um, there's no loot over on this side, so all of the loot that you had is already gone. Hey there. Haven't heard from you in ages. Still alive? Meet me at the underground train station. And perfect. So we got the log update to meet the stranger at the underground station. So that is going to be the first thing that we do um, once we get through Cloud9. <clears throat> now, you'll see this guy is still here if you want to farm. Um, if you didn't get that uh, DLC weapon, Strong Arm Twin Blade, but we already have that. And we're also going to get a quest in here. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and run up and use the medbay. up and hit core power 100. There we go. And you'll notice uh, poor old Gideon here. He's, he's gone. Very sad. I already rated that one apparently. <clears throat> and we'll come down here. Um, these guys don't really drop anything new. They're the same ones as before. Uh, you can take them out if you want to. After we ha help Warren and before we actually do the Great Wall, we're going to want to come back through and clear out all of the uh, corrupted structures and everything like that. But we're going to run over and go via the Cathedral of the Spark because a lot of the doors um, are in Cathedral of the Spark and we got to go up that way anyway. First, we got a quest to do in here. Watch 
reach that guy. come up here you get another audio log so we'll pick that up six. Haven't used this diary in weeks. Jericho's gone straight to hell ever since that plane crash. The government patrols lurking behind every corner. I've been waiting around in this quarantine camp for over a week now. I don't know why. I never felt better in my life. Uh, August 7th. I need to get out of this dump. The people around me are weak. They've lost all purpose. I know there's something, someone waiting for me outside. I can feel it. So you can't actually skip that guy up there. No, no need to kill him. Um, the next audio log is for. And you can skip most of this too. Come up around the corner here. And we'll skip these robots as well. And you can see that's the third audio log here. August 9th. <laughs> Made it out just in the nick of time. I'm more nimble than ever. Something's happening to me. My heart is pounding like crazy. My skin is burning. But I feel. Ah, I feel alive! Fourth one here. August 10th. Ran into some lunatic at Gideon's Rock today. Moron kept yelling at me. What's his problem anyway? He was the crazy one. Him. Not me. Him. Not me. Him. <laughs> Felt so good when I smashed his head against the wall. <laughs> over and over and over again. Clearly this guy's got issues. August 11th. I... I can hear the swarm <laughs> calling to me. They are like me. Yes! They are everywhere. Alright, before we pick up that audio log there, that's the last one, uh, before we get the guy who we're going to fight. I'll explain the fight to you. Um, you're going to do some damage to him. He's going to split in two. You're going to want to sever the arm of the uh, ad that he splits into. So that'll get you one weapon. And then you'll try and cut his arm, which will give you another weapon, plus the quest reward, which is the third weapon. And uh, you get on the final audio log. You could go for his chest piece if you wanted to, which would give you the Rig Capacitor XXL, but I don't use that, and you can get it from Great Wall anyway. That gives us the Mimetic Quick Blade. And we should be able to get... Oh, did I miss it? No, I didn't. There we go. And that should give us... 
us another weapon. So we listen to that. So it looks like Athena's a little bit angry. Um, all right, so let's go through what we just got there. So we got the crystalline hook blade, which up until the Ungula Universalis uh, was released, was the best weapon in the game. The nano barbed impaler, which is not a bad weapon. Uh, single rigs, high nano damage. If you want a nano damage weapon, we also got the Meta Quick Blade, which is a single rigged nano damage weapon as well. So it's between those two. Not sure which one actually does better uh, damage. And there's still, I think, uh, one or two more weapons that we can actually get. Um, I don't know, just, just one more, which is, I believe, a heavy duty weapon or a hammer, which is nano damage, which we can also get at the Great Wall. So we're ahead of the game now. We're going to go ahead and save that, and we will exit out and go to Cloud9. I suppose I could have just run through these guys the first time too, but why not get a little bit of extra tech scrap. So we're going to head into Cloud9 now, don't worry about fighting those guys, say hi to folks. No need to use the med bay, really. But there's been a massacre. Some psycho preacher killed Gerard in cold blood. He just skewered him like a shrimp. Poor guy went out like a damn punk. I think, no, I'm sure it was Brother Eli. I recognize his smug face anywhere. That bastard has to go down. I'm the boss here now, just FYI. So, you buying something or not? And there's nothing we can buy from this guy. He got it all already. Shit. My pop pop always warned me. If you keep playing God, judgment day will come. This is it. Don't get discouraged. The machines. Lots of dead people. We got the uh, officer client here. One of these days, karma will catch up with you. Just you wait. She's clearly happy to see us over the Kingfisher thing. These two are still saying the so same thing. This is it. That's why. Damn it! This is it. This is the end. I never should have divorced Kate. All right. So, bug face. Damn it. This is it. This is the end. I never should have divorced Kate. So we helped out Bugface. He can get around. He used to be married to Kate. Which, if you remember, way back earlier on in the game, we got Kate 2.0, which I never bothered to upgrade. So I wonder if there's something you can do yet with Bugface, some Easter egg. Uh, if anybody ever figures it out, let me know. But other people will also be referencing Kate, as you'll see probably in the next episode. So... I'm going to go through and meet more and finish his quest because that quest can be really buggy and finicky. So I'm pleased that we got the quest update and we'll uh, go and finish that quest. And then I'll call this episode there. When you come out here, you could go over there, the uh, DLC weapon-carrying enemy with the engine from 
Hell is still there. Mason is nowhere to be found, although there are corpses everywhere, so clearly Brother Eli has been through this area. And when you get out here, you're going to get ambushed by the hunters again. You're going to want to immediately target one's right arm and sever that arm so that you get the JAG-22 a turn. Try not to let him get killed by the nanite though, so if that one gets hit by the nanite, switch to another one. Because you won't get the sever otherwise. That gives us the JAG-22 Aeterna, so even though we didn't get it from um, Cervantes, you can still get it here. And you can see the base damage is the currently, the base DPS is currently the highest for that tier of weapons. Um, so it should scale reasonably well as a one-handed weapon goes. Uh, we also have a hint that we want to go this way. So I wonder what's over here. Now break the nano barrier, so let's do that. You slash the nanites, I'll slash prices. Itching. You know a bargain when you see it. I respect that. So you come here often? <laughs> Itching. You know a bargain when you see it. I respect that. I like you. You'd make a great vending machine. Itching. You know a bargain when you see it. I respect that. I like you. You'd make a great vending machine. Itching. You know a bargain when you see it. I respect that. Know that bartender, Highball? You wouldn't believe the smut he buys for me. Sure. Sample my goods. So from this uh, bartender, or this vending machine rather, um, you can buy the infected Vechni and there's two versions, so whichever version you buy, that's the one you get. It'll overwrite the other one. So you might as well buy the MK9 because upgrading, that's way cheaper than upgrading all the way to MK9. So do that. And you see you can no longer buy that one. So we got the Infected Vecchini, um, kind of not the best weapon or damage out there. It is one-handed and it does have high nano damage, so it'll... Uh, cause the nano uh, effect to apply quickly. So if you did want a nano one-handed weapon, go for it. There you go. And we're going to come out here. Um, we will come back here uh, right now because we just had the um, hunter uh, event. The uh, DLC wielding weapon carrying uh, NPC is not over here. But when we come back through, we'll um, be able to get another DLC weapon right over there. We'll pick up the Ronin log. As expected, the assassin put up a fight. Our mission continues. Next time, we will terminate the killer of Major General Shields. Duty demands that justice be served. And you want to try and take out those turrets if you can. Also, gonna see if we can get. Doesn't look like it. Um, so this guy can drop the uh, other Proteus armor set piece that we didn't get yet. I believe it's off of this guy. Maybe it's. Uh, no, it's the other guy. So he'll be wielding. wielding Parsible, so keep an eye out for a guy wielding Parsible, um, and then you'll be able to farm him for the Proteus head. So we'll come back here and farm those guys um, in the next episode and make sure we get all of those items. And I'm hearing somebody, like, stepping, but I don't know where he is. 
Jesus. Out here. You cannot stop me, you fool! Behold my power! Scatter in every This is here now! What's up? What's he doing? Think you can mess with my golden armor? Don't make me laugh, fool! <laughs> so, Mason tried. He did try. Uh, made a valiant effort, but apparently he wasn't strong enough to take out Eli. So now we know what happened to Mason. Right, so our quest log says, find the stranger at the underground train station. Conveniently enough, that is right back here. So we're going to head into the underground train station and speak with Now you got to be really careful with the dialogue here, um, and you can totally mess up getting the award and everything like that. So basically, um, you have to give him the repeller coil first before asking him for a reward, and you have to make sure that you ask him for a reward. And then you tell him to take the train. You have to do all of those three things to get the best uh, resolution to this quest and to get all of the items. And this is the final set of DLC weapons. Uh, there's also a Codename Parsival 2.0. Um, actually, we'll get the Codename Parsival 2.0 and we'll get the, um, the other DLC weapon, the Golden uh, Twin Blades uh, outside of Cloud Nine. And I'll try and get the Bloody Proteus head before we finish this episode. And then we'll go out and clear out uh, all of the other stuff tomorrow. Um, those three are quick. But anyway, so that'll get us all of the DLC weapons, including the Warren's Redemption V2.0, assuming we do this quick correctly. Uh, you'll also get the Adrenaline Shunt, which is a very good um, implant. So here we go. Everything has been leading up to this. We're almost done here, partner. For the encore? So the first thing you say is, I found the repeller coil. You look shook up. Let's hope whatever you did to get it was worth it in the end. This will make the way out of Jericho City much safer. And then you can say, do you still need help? You have no idea, partner. I found a couple AID soldiers guarding the control room, but they won't be a problem anymore. If we want to get clearance to the train, we'll have to do it manually. Which means one of us will have to stay behind. Look, I'm sorry, partner. I can't ask you to do this for me. You should go. And you say, no, I have some unfinished business. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Always the softest one, huh? You'll have to tell me the rest of your story some other time. First, go find the control room. It's right above the train tracks. And last but not least, we'll send the train on its journey. That should be it. Sounds almost too easy, doesn't it? I don't know how I can ever pay you back for everything you did, but I'll try. Our tearful goodbye will just have to wait a little bit longer. So, let's see. You got me a real AID gear set. You helped me find the evidence in AID command, so there's that. You got me the repeller coil to de-nanify the tunnel out of Jericho. You didn't put a foot wrong, partner. I'd say you earned yourself a hell of a reward. will learn that nobody gets away by fighting terror with more terror. With the files you helped me get, I can get justice for the people killed by the AID experiments. We did good, you and I. 
uncovered important things. No matter what happens next, I'm damn proud of this. Yeah, maybe it's time for me to come clean. What do you want to know? Just an average Joe. At least that's what I thought. Took my first day of work at Creo. Everything going on in this city today started there. Creo tried to release those nanites into the atmosphere to save humanity from certain doom. A last-ditch attempt to rescue a chosen few. The plan backfired. First, they wiped out their own company. Then, their rocket collided with Flight 221. That's when the real fun started. While you were up there fighting for your life, I was down at Creo. Had a front-row seat in a genuine cataclysm. It's the old story, really. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, maybe it's time for me to come clean. What do you want to know? I had to find out what was going on. I just had to. This shouldn't end like last time. After I escaped the Creo compound, I heard about that rocket crashing into Jericho City. I came here to see if it was true, if everything really wasn't over yet. Well, it was far from over. I got trapped again. Lucky me. Poor Warren. Well, it's been a pleasure, considering the circumstances. Still, meeting you almost made it worth it. No matter what happens, I'll always remember you, my friend. There we go. Adrenaline shunt. So that is an injectable, uh, which will let you... Uh, it's, it's basically um, a slow. So this is the only other injectable other than the one that I use. The uh, metavoltaic injector that is, is worth using, in my opinion. So this one, uh, I will probably try and find a way to slot it into a build uh, next episode. That gives you Warren's Redemption 2.0 as well, which, as you can see, 399 base damage, 18 impact, uh, very fast attack speed, high energy gain. So it is right up there, single rig weapon with Harold's holographic tailblade, and I believe Warren's Redemption V2.0 might scale a little bit better and we can see uh, when we try and upgrade stuff um, so it's just three points behind the um, these two very good weapon now we need to activate the train so we'll go and do that and the train activation is just up here oh, oops that's the execute No big deal, we already have the implant from that guy. And I am so pleased that we got all of the quests done for you guys, except for... Actually, I guess we can do Gateway Bravo 2, that was pretty quick. On our way back to the uh, Cloud 9, we'll grab that. not want to go off the track. I haven't planted my banner in a while. I think I have one that I can plant now, so I'll drop it over here. Congratulations! You just completed one of the hardest quests in the game to complete. We're going to head out here, grab those two DLC weapons, and uh, work our way back to Cloud9. So let's just see how that compares. So you've got uh, Warren's Redemption will go up to 275. Herald's will go up to 278. So it's holding pretty steady in terms of scaling. Rusty Ravager goes up to 283, which puts it even ahead of the Ungula Universalis. Um, and 
and this one goes up to 470 next, so that puts it even closer into striking range uh, with these guys. Right, eight behind versus nine behind right now. So this is catching up. So I would probably say you know you want to upgrade those two um, and heralds. I'm going to upgrade Warrens in the next episode, too, and we'll just see how all of this stuff scales uh, once we can go out and farm. So we're going to be able to farm MK10 mats in the next episode. Something to stay tuned for and look forward to. All right, so not going to mess with it right now. Just going to finish off this area. So the first area we're going to need to clear out, and you could take the Exo line up there, that just brings you up back above where the Echo Delver was. Um, oh man, and I forgot about the loop here from this chest. It's not good. Nothing major, but pile of scrap metal never hurt anybody. I'm going to get out of the Nanite Sludge. just a few enemies to kill over here before we get um, to the where we need to be for codename uh, Parcel V2.0 Now these guys um, are the MG Cerberus armor guys so They also drop MK9 stuff, and I need a lot more MK9 components, so I'm just going to focus on chopping their arms for now. Because they got a lot of weapons to upgrade. Um, you can go over here, but the maglift is gone now. And you can see it's all broken. I wonder if there is some way to get up there at some point, though. I've never tried, like, following the wall before. No, it doesn't work. So watch out for ambushes as you're coming through here. You got two of these guys to deal with. enemy over there with his little pet uh, nano beast take out that and then we'll get the revenge enemy now be careful with this guy um, you're gonna want to get his right arm probably for the tungsten but there's another guy around the corner that will ambush you if you try and take this guy and I totally did the wrong combo Heavy Fermion, uh, you've been avenged. That way heads into AID Command. Oh, we forgot one guy back the other way that, that'll get. And this is where you get the codename Parcival 2.0. So you're going to get one of his little bot friends. But I'm going to try and take out him first. There we go. Codename Parcival 2.0. So you can see this actually has lower damage scaling than Codename Parcival. I'm not sure why. Maybe if we upgrade it more, it'll catch up. Don't worry about those guys. Um, there he is. Alright, I'm hoping that this guy give us his headpiece and it is the Proteus, but I think it's bloodied. Yeah, it's bloodied. There's a little bit of loot in here. Finish taking him out. And 
once again this way too doesn't let you into AID command. So the entrance to AID command is over there. Oh, maybe it will actually now. It does. Okay. So we can get up into AID command here, um, and, or we can go that way. So yep, it does. But because we cleared those enemies, and I don't want to have to re-clear them, we're going to fight our way over to Cloud9, and then we can take the fast travel back over here since we opened it up in a previous episode. So I'm not actually going to take that. I don't really feel like fighting all the way back over to through that stuff. So let's go back this way. And there is one set of enemies and a little bit of loot that we left. So if you look to the left, right over here, you'll see that there's a piece of loot and one of these little guys. And there's also another one back there and one of the bots. So the AD Hound. It's just a, you know, MK6, but better to play it safe. No, you don't. It won't get in the way that easy. That should be all the loot that we can get for this area, and then we'll go back over here. Be a little bit careful as we're coming through this section. We are going to get lots of enemies to deal with. So that guy is the Proteus armor set wearing um, enemy. So you want to get his headpiece. So be careful to get it. And that's the full Proteus set. Still lots of these guys to deal with. This guy is the other one that I was telling you about. He drops a DLC weapon. And we just got it. Golden Twin Blades, unfortunately, not all that impressive when you compare them to Killer Claw, so check this out. 272 right at the bottom of the barrel. It's just base damage. I have no idea what they were thinking making this weapon. Really, really don't. Maybe it's the low stamina consumption? I have no idea. But that's like the worst weapon in that tier. And it doesn't even have an elemental effect. Right? So that's got 47 damage more if you count the elemental. And if you're going up against the Parsifal, man, that's, you know, that's it's a ridiculous amount. It's like 60, 70 points of damage higher. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why they made that so weak. It's a cool looking weapon, too. Anyway, so we're going to go up into Cloud 9. I'll take us over to uh, Camp Gateway Bravo. Say hi to folks there. And we'll end the episode. This is it. This is the end. I never should have divorced Kate. Damn it. This is it. This is the end. I never should have divorced Kate. <laughs> we really should have been able to find Kate. Dude, you knocked it.
it out of the park. I know, I know. Party on. All right, so we're going to take the fast travel point from up here. going to drop my banner just because. Oh, I already dropped my banner down the subway, didn't I? And we will head over to the AD command. So, you finally found these two, which is the last quest that you need before going to the rescue. So, liberation will complete. Sup, it's me, Rex, your favorite drone vendor. Looks like you both got out, like, in one piece. Now, I'm not sure... And you can ask him for a reward if you want. Uh, and you'll get uh, some tungsten alloy, MK9, Molotov cocktails, grenades. So you might as well ask him uh, for a reward. Oh, snap! Of course! Now that I'm back with April, I'm a bit like scatterbrained. We're like totes OTP! Sup, it's me. Looks like you both got out, like, in one piece. Yeah. And this time, for good. No matter what happens, we'll, like, always have each other. Yeah, sure thing. And if you need more ammo, um, obviously you've got the SSM uh, Vanguard missile, so you can buy more of that. Only 30,000 tax scrap each. Got the grenades, so on and so forth. So if you need more drone ammo, you can get it over here. Let's see what uh, April has to say. It feels like the clouds in my mind are finally clearing up. The children of the spark changed me, reprogrammed me. I almost lost myself in there. I would never have made it out of that hellhole without that big goofball over there. If we get hitched after all, it won't be a church run, I can tell you that much. No more religion for me. And we've also got uh, good old Ben What am I supposed to say now? <laughs> this dang cataclysm has put me out of work. <laughs> oh, hell, break it loose. And that creature is going to break through that wall any minute. <laughs> we'll be free. <laughs> so, Athena is saving everybody. It's happened again. Utter carnage. Even worse than at Freya. Do me a favor, okay? Finish whatever you set out to do. I'll be rooting for you. Good old Ben. Something like a power so I lost. Take care, okay? And we also have the professor. Well, hello, fellow survivors. Remember me? It's Okunjo. Okunjo sent Quark. I'm so glad I came back up here. Finally, I can atone for my past. It feels good. Be a scientist again. Together with Dr. Sorensen, I can make a real difference at last. I will never forget what you taught me. Together with Dr. Sorensen, I can make a real difference at last. I will never forget what you taught me. Both of you. He's repeating himself. Well, hello. I'm it fit both of you. Good job out there. Ever since I cured those three feather brains, I get more patience than you can shake a stick at. Huh. Sure. Just don't forget to buy something, all right? And we already have purchased everything she has, too. Looking like we've completed most stuff, folks. And, uh, you know what, We're, we'll get a head start over on the next episode. So, in the next episode, I'm going to run back through Cathedral of the Spark, um, break down all of the nano barriers, we'll defeat 
uh, Delver Echo Beta um, and finish off all of the underground and the Cathedral of the Spark uh, corrupted structures. Then we'll move on and do uh, most of the Great Wall and I'll show you where you can end with farming and doing the last boss. So whether we get all of that in, in one episode or not remains to be seen, but I'll try. For now, we're just going to go take the last fast travel over to the harbor, and we'll end the episode. And our log is clear, except for to the rescue. Everything else should have been completed. And you can see too, uh, Molly has nothing else for My sale. My favorite either. regular. How can I help you today? You've done more than. Oh, actually, she again. does have one other thing that we can buy. I just remembered. So none of this, right? We got all of that. Got all of that. Got all of that. But we didn't get the icon of the spark yet. So we got to remember to pick that up for free. And if you compare that to the. Uh, so if we upgrade that, I'll show you the upgrade stats. So if you compare where this will be, so it'll be 412 base damage with 20 electricity. This is 422 with 22. So the non-alternate kill version is actually better currently. But I think the V2 scales higher the higher that it goes. So We'll have to watch out for that when I can upgrade stuff to MK10, and then we'll show you where all of the end of the weapons end up. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode, at least. And we'll see you back for that one. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you found it useful.